In one of the previous tutorials, we used the search match module in Profex to identify phases. It usually works well and has a good hit rate, but the fact that it only searches the internal structure database is a severe limitation. Profex includes some 7 to 800 structures at the moment, which is nowhere near the hundreds of thousands of structures included in other structure databases. It is currently not possible to search external databases directly from within Profex. We need third-party software for that. But we can still benefit from Profex's powerful peak detection algorithms, which often result in better peak extraction than other programs. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how we can run peak detection in Profex and export the peak lists to some other programs to run phase identification with the COD database. First, we need to open a scan file. And we also want to show the peak list window. We can find it in the window menu. It's called peak list. And it opens this uh, widget on the right side of, of this plot area. And now all we have to do is go to run and select run peak detection. Another dialog will appear and we have to select our instrument configuration file, just as we do for when we create a refinement project. Um, this is the correct one, the RMS D8 ADS instrument, and we also have to specify the radiation that was used. I used copper radiation, so that's correct. And I click OK and peak detection starts. And after a few seconds, I get a list of all the peaks that were detected in my peak list widget. The peaks were added to a new scan, which only contains HKL data. You can see it in the plot options list. And so in addition to the blue uh, measured data, I now have a peak data scan with all the purple detected peaks. At the top of the peak list widget, I get uh, a list of all the HKL scans. So this drop-down menu only lists scans that actually contain HKL data, which is now only this new purple scan. And if I select a peak, it will be highlighted in the graph with a little triangle at the tip, so I can always see which peak I'm, I'm highlighting. And I could also delete peaks if there's false positive matches I could just delete individual peaks. This button with the cross symbol only, it does not clear the list, uh, which is maybe a bit misleading from the symbol, but it only clears the selection. So if I click it, none of the peaks is selected because otherwise it's not possible to unselect all peaks. So what we want to do next is we want to export this list to a text file using this export button here. And as a file format, we select D values with the extension diff and we keep the file name. So now this peak data, it was exported to a text file. And this exported file can now be imported in some other software for search match. And I'm going to demonstrate it with two different programs. The first one is called Callex2. It's a free software. Um, it's not open source, but it's free. You just have to register to get the download link. And we first import the diffraction pattern. So file import diffraction data. And we again select copper radiation. This is the same pattern I opened in Profex before. But now instead of running peak detection in Qualex, I will just import peak data, import peaks from file. And I can select this diff file that was exported from Profex before. And now I get the same peaks from the same very accurate peak detection in Profex in Qualex. And I can immediately start search match and it identifies hydroxyapatite, which is, of course, correct.
The second software I'm going to demonstrate is called Match. It's developed by Crystal Impact. And even though it's commercial, it's the only software for search match I'm aware of that also runs on Linux and Mac OS. So uh, for users of this platform, this is probably the only option to run search match in, in a larger database than the one bundled with Profix. It works exactly the same. First, we have to open the scan file. It's again the same file I used in Profix for peak detection. And then we go to Peaks and select Import from File. And this is the same diff file we could also use for Qualex in the example before. So we select the diff file with the D values. And it was uh, measured with X radiation. The wavelength was copper. But Profex only identifies K alpha 1 peaks. The values is correct. That's the way we exported the peak positions in Profex. And now we get the peaks, the peak locations and intensities from Profex. And we can just run search match. And here we have our score list. The sorting is a little bit different than in Qualex. Obviously, it uh, scored the matches a bit differently, but hydroxyapatite is again among the top 10. This is another example. It's the same phase. It's also hydroxyapatite, but this time it's nanocrystalline. And we can do the same. We just go to run and run peak detection. We select the same instrument and wavelength. And if there's a lot of peak overlap, the detection of, of the peaks can get fairly slow. Sometimes the software seems to hang because it's running a lot of cycles. Um, so with complex diffraction patterns, uh, it can be a, a fairly slow process. Now, in this example, there was one peak around at around 10 degrees that was not detected. So we already discussed how we can delete peaks. For example, if I want to delete this one, I just select it. It's marked with a triangle or a V at the tip, and I delete it like this. But I can also add peaks manually if some were maybe not detected by the peak uh, search algorithm. I first have to select the scan I want to add the peak to. So in this case, we want to append it to this purple HKL scan. And then I hold the control key on the keyboard and double click at the location like this. And it plots a message to the refinement protocol at the location and intensity where I clicked. And it added this peak to my HKL scan. And I can export the file. Again, the format we need to use to for import in Qualex and Match is the D values diff format. And we do the same. First, we import the diffraction data. Then we load the peaks from the diff file and we run search match. We can tune the peak search algorithm in the settings. So we go to edit preferences and on the BGMN peak detection page there are some parameters we can adjust. And it's a bit cryptic because these are the parameters that are directly passed on to the, the command line program that is running in the background. And the program is called eFlech. And if we go to the BGMN website, bgmn.de slash eFlech underscore variables.html, we get a description of these parameters. So instead of explaining them in detail, please just go to this page and read it up. And um, usually 
I just leave it at the defaults. I can always, when I change something here, I can always return to the default settings. And this usually, usually works very well, only if the search gets very slow uh, with too complex diffraction patterns, then we might need to adjust some parameters to speed it up. This was a brief demonstration of how we can use peak detection in Profex to improve face identification with other programs that can access the large online databases. I demonstrated the process with Qualex and Match, but it might also work with Highscore, Diffrag EFA and other commercial programs. There are plenty of commercial search match programs for Windows, but if you know about free alternatives, especially for Linux and Mac OS, please let us know in the comments. At the moment, Qualex is the only free solution I know of, and Match is the only one that runs on all platforms. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.